Hi everyone. Uh, I just got the battery pack cover off and here's a closer look of what inside. I think this is the computer that controls the charge and down there is the electronic switching go back and forth to the batteries and here are the batteries two banks There's one here and one on the top each of consistent of 38 lie-ion batteries so total of 72 batteries hooked up in series here's one leg here and they're all in series coming to one end and they connect it through that orange connector to the other leg of the other battery bank and so on here's the output and that's the output for the battery charge sensor or temperature sensor for for each bank that goes to this control unit I'm gonna hook up the, uh, the battery voltmeter and show you the voltage on it, so bear with me. Okay, I have one end right here connected to the here, and I'm gonna check the voltage on first cell. Three and a half volt, three point six volts. I'm gonna go all the way of the bank and check the voltage for one bank 136.2 now I'm gonna check the voltage at two ends right here you have 272 and a half volts for the whole thing I'm gonna check, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. Check the voltage here. It's 32 volts. I rather have below that to go to my inverter. So I'm gonna come one bad to one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go to the fourth one. There you go, we have 25. So I'm gonna jump over to the next battery. We should have about 28 and a half. Yep. That's the ideal voltage for the inverter. So if I do that, it means I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight batteries. I'm going to divide the whole thing into eight, so I'll have maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, eight batteries that connected in a series, or parallel, I'm sorry, strike that, in parallel to get, get the 28 and a half volts out of it. And it's going to be lighter, less room consuming, and easy to maintain because basically there is no maintain and there is no uh, overcharging, discharging. If I set up the right configuration on my solar charge controller. I don't need to bulk charge them or probably just flow charge them and find out what is the best way of charging them. So here it is right now. I hope uh, you got some idea of how, how it's looking. 
and here's the other bank so we have 38 on this side and 38 on the, the other side 72 batteries each of them three and a half volts well i'll keep you guys up with the process thanks for watching